Hey everybody, it's Robot here, Vespa Motorsport, ScooterWest.com here in San Diego. Just want to share one of my mechanics projects. Uh, it's not my personal project, but my technician, Travis, he's quite a bit into both modern and vintage Vespas. He's got a pretty good collection of both. Um, start out here is, it's a pretty low miles Primavera 50. Uh, here in California, the 50 cc's are not popular because uh, the licensing requirement for a 50 is identical for you know, the largest Harley, a Gullwing, or whatever. You pretty much need a motorcycle license. There's not a special moped provisional license or no license at all for a 50. So we sell very, very few 50 cc's. But we do get them in time to time. We always have a 50 available for sale in our showroom, kind of to represent the whole range of uh, Vespa and Piaggio products. Some customers do choose to purchase them because they're looking for something in a, to use in a very tight urban area. They're going to get a little bit better mileage. But for the most part, San Diego, uh, it's all highways and larger roads that are higher speed, you know, 45 miles an hour and faster. The 50s just don't quite cut it here in, in California. Plus, you need a motorcycle license. So if you're going to go through the, the effort of getting a motorcycle license, might as well step up to the plate and get a bigger scooter here in California. I know every state is different. There's some states that just 50s are everywhere. Um, but back to what this scooter is all about. It was a Primavera 50, low miles, nothing wrong with the motor. But we want to uh, do a very low budget 150 conversion for this. So we've had a couple takeoff uh, LX 150 motors, which is the previous generation motor that was found in the Vespa ET4 the LX, the S150. Nice thing about Piaggio, it's kind of like, if you're a car guy, you know about like General Motors 350 Chevys. You know, they pretty much fit in every single Chevrolet car real easily. Um, but pretty much the same goes with the Vespa and Piaggio line. Um, the way the engines mount is nearly identical across the whole entire board. So they're, they're real easy to do engine swaps. And if you've seen my custom orange, uh, sprint them building, I put the disc brake rear end from the 946. You know, you could just swap parts around, and you kind of make your own uh, Franken-scoot, I guess. But this one's going to be a little more worthwhile, because it's going to be a lot faster. Like I said, originally it was a Primavera. We put the sprint, a set of sprint wheels on it. Uh, the motor being an LX, we replaced the hub with the Fly 150, which is a Piaggio it's a lower price product, uses the same motor as the ET4 and LX, the leader motor, but it runs a 12 inch rear tire. So the hub is pushed further back. And any of the Primaveras and Sprints, they have the larger tires and the motors pushed back for a little bit longer wheelbase or just how they have the, uh, the frame laid out. So we swapped the hub from a fly, it was a used part that we had sitting around. The gearing's all correct for the 12 inch tires. Wheels, they were takeoffs. Uh, I think both Travis and TC put the um, aftermarket black and silver rim, so we've had some nice takeoff original silver rims. Um, of course, the hardest part about a swap, the Primavera 50 was a carbureted vehicle, so it's, it's pretty simple. Fuel system is very simple. There's no fuel pump, but it's a vacuum operated fuel tap. The carburetor's not in there, but the fuel line will go right to the carburetor. You see Travis has already got the, uh, the starter motor wired. He's done some custom wiring along the frame. We're going to leave all the original wiring alone, but there's uh, some of the wiring. It's going to have the immobilizer for the key. We've got to replace the lock set because it's going to run the immobilizer uh, CDI or the, the ignition box from the LX. It's going to be really simple. It's only a, a couple wires that we're going to have to hook up. We're going to put a three-phase voltage regulator because on the 50s they have a much simpler charging system. Ignition coil is a little different. He fabricated a bracket, and much like an LX or ET, I think that's going to mount right there. Spark plug cap is going to go right to the head. Uh, checked all the clearance. It's got a sprint rear shock. Um, pretty much wired up, and you're going to have a low-budget Primavera 150, essentially. Not going to have the nice, sophisticated three-valve fuel-injected motor, but these old LX and ET4 motors are quite reliable. I have a lot of customers with a ton of miles on them. 
We've installed a lot of 187 kits. Put a 187 on this thing and it's gonna be pretty quick. Uh, just showing you one of the little funky projects we got going around here at Vespa Motorsport, one of our mechanics doing. Hope everybody finds that pretty cool. Uh, see everybody next time. Robot here, Vespa Motorsport. ScooterWest.com here in San Diego. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube for all sorts of other fun Vespa-filled videos. Until next time.